Hey, welcome back all. This is Mr. Frixit coming at you on sideways. Look, I'm I'm doing a video down here on the floor of our RV because I wanted to tell you all about the uh, converter that, you know, that went bad and I had to replace. Uh, now, one thing I did learn, um, first of all, all of you, I don't know if you know, but we, we stay in our RV, we live in our RV full time. We wanted to minimal, minimalize and in time of uh, uh, disaster, be able to start the engine and just move to a different different place. Uh, so what happened for two years, this thing, this fan on this thing was making noise. I cleaned it out, lubricated with some WD. So it lasted, you know, basically about four years. And uh, finally, I stopped hearing the fan, the cooling fan coming on. So I said to myself, there's got to be something up with this. Well, about two days later, the fridge stopped working. The, the heater wouldn't ignite. And this is why we were plugged in. So the controller controls all that. Um, because it's on 12 volt, because it runs when you're not plugged in. So it runs off battery on the DC. Now this takes care of your AC and your DC. So you got your 120 volts on your appliances, the TV, stuff like that. Okay, that'll still run plugged in, but the other stuff did not run. Okay, because the igniter works off 12 volt. Uh, one thing I did learn, I wanted to share I thought this was an inverter. This is not an inverter. This is a converter because it goes from from AC to DC. Okay, so this takes when you plug in this thing, it takes the 120 and charges your battery, and it runs all your 12 volt. This this converter. Now, if you had an inverter, that would be with say a solar system that just charges your batteries and you want to go from the 12 volt DC to AC okay so that cleared that up for me but anyway um, I looked online this thing is heavy uh, there's a panel down under here under this seat that I put in uh, okay that's where the converter is so I looked online and they had prices anywhere from 200 to 500 I uh, found one locally because I needed it right away and I'll tell you the truth I like buying stuff like this locally because I can I can uh, look it over and all before I buy it and make sure it's the right thing now this this is this right here is put out put out by uh, and Tele Power, okay, 4600 series. Now this fits, if you look up real close, it fits a lot of the units that are in the RV. And there's different things in the installation that you have to do differently. But for the most part, this thing fit right in here. It came with, it came with the unit itself, which is very heavy. This just you just unscrew four screws and pull it out and actually you got to take all your wires out and all because you have you have uh, you have an AC side and you have your DC side so when you install this you want to make sure that you got your AC and your DC side on the right sides now the new one does come with a 30 amp 30 amp here let me turn this light on for you so you can see is that better for you okay so it comes with your 30 amp fuses up here which will blow if uh, you know if if you do if you hook them up backwards or something okay it does have that safety on there this is the this right here is the box that's down here okay so the four screws come out and you just make sure that this side is your is your AC side and this is your DC side. It does come with let me find it for you. Right here. This is this was the old DC board. Okay, it has fuses in it and all. 
okay so this it comes all new so you have to take all your all your wires off for your uh, for your different zones and then you have to reinstall your fuses or get brand new fuses most of mine fuses are, are 15 there's uh, five in there for the igniter okay and then uh, like I said you got to make sure that make sure that your your AC side is hooked up to the AC and your DC hooked up to the DC but this you know wasn't the cheapest way out but it was uh, it was satisfactory to me because I know everything you know fits in there and it's properly uh, properly made for this unit okay so this one here was like three three forty nine but like I said I got it locally and I was able to inspect it and we put it all back in there and uh, I mean it was it was a costly expense but it's something that you have to have the converter is like the most crucial thing besides the generator so like I said if you're experiencing problems, you don't hear your cooling fan coming on, or you know your your 12 volt stuff, your lights start going dim, and uh, your battery is not getting charged. You're going to want to check out your converter. Again, this is Mr. Fixit coming at you. This is uh, a video on the controller in our RV. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Please like and subscribe to the video. And thanks for coming and watching, guys. Mr. Fixit, I'm out.